Hi everyone. Well, here as promised is the Cindy House video. For those of you who didn't watch the previous video, um, this is an IKEA cabinet which was previously home to my Blythe dolls who are now in this cabinet next to me which it won't focus on and all you can really see is the relux light behind me um in my loft doll room uh the blights have been evicted and the cindy's are in so i'm just gonna slide forward a bit because i'm sitting on the floor making this video to show you the cindy house so this is the first bedroom these are my childhood Cindy's and my childhood Cindy furniture. Um, the girl stood at the back is a ballerina Cindy, active Cindy. She um, has a hand that is hanging by a thread. <laughs> One of her hands fell off, a very common problem I believe with the ballerina Cindy's. And my lovely dad glued it back on when I was a child. But that glue has now... Um, had its day so uh, it's literally just there by sheer will I think <laughs> at the minute. <laughs> the other Cindy who's looking rather ill she's she's done the Cindy thing of losing all the colour from her face so she's going to be a project to be cleaned up and hopefully repainted but she's also very sticky in the face at the moment so I don't know how that's going to go but anyway she was a springtime Cindy and um Yes, they were my childhood Cindy's. Um, I must point out the the little Mab Graves tiny miniature on the bedside table. Obviously, it's not Cindy. It's nothing to do with Cindy, um, but it is very precious that. Um, so I didn't want to lose it. So I've put it there because I thought it would look quite nice. Um, and for those of you Cindy aficionados, which I'm sure uh, there might be a few watching this video. Um, you'll note that I kept all my accessories that went with the dressing table um, and all the tea tray accoutrements as well. Um, I was a very careful child. Uh, both my Cindy's still have their hair in their original ponytails as well. Uh, and it paid off because when I've got them back all these years later, 40 years later, uh, maybe not quite, at least 35 years later. Um, it meant I, nothing was missing. So that's that. On to the next room. Now, sorry, I have to move back a bit. <laughs> okay, so the girl standing is my sister's childhood ballerina, Cindy. She's also got her hair still in her original ponytail. Um, she has also lost a hand, um, which is on the floor. Don't worry, I've got it. <laughs> um, and she didn't get played with very much, bless her, because my cinder, my cinder, my sister wasn't as into Cindy as I was. So um, yeah, I've got my sister kindly donated to me last year um, her Cindy and all her Cindy's clothes. Um, so the gypsy dress that she's wearing uh, belonged to my sister as in fact did this lovely black flowery dress that my cindy's wearing that was one of my sister's dresses too i always liked it so i took the opportunity to put my cindy in it <laughs> um so that's her she stood in front of um, a wardrobe which was donated to me by my lovely friend judy along with all its contents which are currently downstairs. Um, I have washed and dried them and they just are waiting to be brought upstairs and put away with all the rest of the Cindy clothes. Um, the bed was my sister's bed. The brunette Cindy is a vintage, uh, a vintage Cindy, which I bought from eBay a few years ago, about three years ago now, because I'd always wanted a brunette Cindy when I was a child and we just didn't get them uh, down here in, in the southwest. Um, whenever I went Cindy shopping or looking at the Cindy's and the Cindy stuff uh, in the shops, they were all the dolls that were on sale always seemed to be blonde. Um, rarely saw a brunette and I never saw a redhead Cindy uh, first time round, so I would love one of those to add to my collection. 
Um, and the girl sat at the end of the bed um, with the with the wine bottle. Um, was uh, donated to be to me by my lovely friend Judy, who um, she is a she's an active ballerina, Cindy too. Uh, she's lost both her hands, unfortunately, bless her, and I don't have those. But um, some lovely people on the Facebook uh, Cindy group that I belong to have pointed me in the direction of a lady who makes replacement hands. Um, so when I have some funds, I'm sure I will get her some funds. So that's the second room. Then we have to go downstairs. Now this is a bit tricky because I'm literally on the floor here. Um, okay. The living room, I'm going to move this girl out of the way a bit because I can't see otherwise. The living room, um, I have got lots of Cindy uh, sofas and chairs which I have bought in recent years. I never had any as a child. Um, so at the back there we have um, blogger Cindy. She's one of the new Playline Cindy's um, got from Argos. Um, so she's not a vintage Cindy, but she um, she's the face mould of the new Cindy's is very much like the original ones. Um, and in front is my limited edition Weekender Cindy. Um, she's in her um, original outfit that she came came in. Uh, all my other girls, including the new. Uh, blogger Cindy at the back there I've put them all in vintage outfits so this uh, weekend of Cindy here is the only one that doesn't have um, a vintage outfit on um, while I'm here for those of you who are eagle-eyed I also grabbed when I was getting all my Cindy things from home these were my Cindy annuals from when I was a child so there we can see 1983 I was 12 that was my first one 1984 and then I think this one is 1985 well it doesn't have the date on the front which isn't terribly helpful um, and then I also have a Cindy magazine here from 1984 um, which I kept and I was very glad to have those back so I shall sit and have a look at those at some point. That'll bring back some happy childhood memories. <laughs> okay, then the last room, which has got my limited edition city chic um, Cindy in, although she's wearing a vintage nurse um, uniform, uh, sent to me by my good friend Kim. Uh, this is kind of the kitchen of the house. Well, sort of. <laughs> it's got a rement table and chairs in it and also a Cindy chair there which was part of the uh, bedroom set I just didn't have room in the bedrooms upstairs and there is another little uh, chair at the back there um, so that's the house next to the house we have um, this is my sister's Cindy horse from when we were children um, he's got a slight problem Sorry, I know this is terrible camera work. Please forgive me. He's the one with the molded, molded plastic mane and tail. And unfortunately, um, he's been in my parents' loft. He was in his box. Look, there you go. That's my sister's horse box. And on top of that, she also kept her Cindy in the original box. Um, and what whilst he was. I thought he'd be safe in the box. Unfortunately, he must have got a bit hot in there because his... I can't really see it here. It's this side you can see. See it better. His um, saddle melted onto him a bit and some of, and his bridle as well. So, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that. I'm just leaving him there for the time being. Now, in the meantime on the roof of the house and please don't question why there is a car <laughs> and, a ho and a horse on the roof of the house doesn't everyone have a car and a horse on the roof of their house um, this is my childhood Cindy horse uh, who had the rooted uh, mane and tail and he is being ridden by the new horse rider Cindy um, a lovely redhead uh, but she is wearing the vintage 
horse 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 rider outfit that was mine from when I was a child uh, not her new one the um, riding hat doesn't really fit her head very well and um, so she's just got it there she's about to put it on let's put it that way <laughs> and then last but not least is my Cindy buggy um, that's my sister's Cindy horse tack I can't remember if mine came with anything like this but my sister's did and um, the rosette is in the bucket too for those of you who uh, you can't see anyway it is in there with the brush and um, this is mine the buggy and I still have the blow up tent and sleeping bag that came with it um, as well so there we are I'll just slide back a bit hi so I'm just shutting the door because my husband's just come home um, thank you for joining me on the tour and I hope you enjoyed it